Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Infra. Last time we learned a whole heck of a lot, discovered the ultimate fate of Xander Berg, as well as the ultimate resting place of Xander Berg. And we uh, are closer than ever to the office. It's actually right on the other side of this drawbridge. But something tells me getting Most over there is not going to be easy. Uh, now, I think that fuse we placed last time... Uh, oh, did we have a choice? Did we perhaps have a choice in which of these we opened? Hang on. I'm just going to have a quick look around to see if maybe there's another one we can grab. Oh, or maybe maybe the other one was sparking and I pulled it out. I don't remember. It's been a couple of days. Anyways, let's... Ooh. Get through here, look. It's sterile, almost without vandalism. And yet there's a still mist hanging in the air. What is that supposed to be? Can we open you? Ah, oh, there's another fuse. Okay. Yeah, sorry, it's just gonna take me a little bit to get into this. There you go. That is so addicting. I never knew you could just throw them in until I read the achievement for this playthrough. But it seems these tunnels are also infested with the stuff, you know? For something that was discovered during the construction of the Bergman Tunnels, these things really have spread to everywhere. <laughs> then again, maybe someone's cultivating these in particular. Yeah, but life finds a way. It's not entirely unexpected that they'd find some sort of natural container. Uh, we are in the guts of the bridge now. Uh, we can jump down there, but let's uh, let's hold our horses. Oh, look at all this. This must be like the inner mechanism where the bridge like raises. I can see the painted lines there. Uh, also, sorry, my voice is a little bit hoarse right now. Oh! Ooh, we can take this thing right off! Alright, I knew there'd be some reason we could come this way. Uh, it's a... bear party. Huh. And somebody else is aware of our friend. Uh, something Ello. Oh, Anna, Ello, and Kev? Between this and the teddy bears, uh, is this maybe the lair of some runaway child? This looks like maybe some sort of code for something? Or maybe it's just scribblings, I don't know. Uh, a bear painting on the wall? Actually, it looks like an image of a castle, but it's mostly faded away. Interesting. Stay here, or they will find you. Ello, Rust, Mosques? There's more text here, but I can't quite read it. Wait, so was someone, like, told to stay here by some other party? Are we dealing with, like, a Simba and Scar situation? Like, somebody Most really wanted this kid to not resistance. come back? Yeah, there's more over here, so... The name Ello is one we're gonna have to keep in mind, then. There is another one of those curves, like... Almost looks like an Ouroboros, like what we saw... On the, uh, on the ceiling of the scientist's room. And it's hard to see, but it actually looks like you're being led away by the hand. By a gross-looking stick figure. A lot of implication, not a whole lot of confirmation up there. Let's try and move.
Uh, is there anything for us to find here? Oh, well, there's some damage. Most satisfying sound in the world. Oh. So I'm guessing that what we need to do then is probably lower this drawbridge so we can get across. We really don't want to try just calling someone again. Uh, maybe our resources really are stretched that thin. I imagine ever since we started reporting on this stuff, everybody's probably out working double time. Or more likely, they're nowhere near as dedicated as Mark and they've all gone home for the day. Nothing at the end of this dock here. You know, unlike earlier, I would have appreciated a raft. Uh, it looks like you are a monster from earlier. Your eyes having turned green, which I believe we saw before. Uh, but we can step onto the rocks. There's gotta be something here. I still have nine packs of batteries left. Come on, not a geocache, no damage, no documents. There's gotta be something. Also, I don't really like the sound of some of these seagulls. They sound more like a person trying to imitate what they hear from the seagulls. But god, it is getting so, so dark. That contrast is becoming really harsh even in-game, much more probably in the rendering. Can't open you. Let's see if it works. I'm guessing it's not going to. Uh, South Lake connection is broken. Uh, set manual if auto setting isn't working. Local, this computer here, yes? Uh, I can't believe no one has fixed these yet. I just saw one girl under the bridge at those box something. I tried to catch her, but she managed to run away. Don't press. That's great. I can't believe that. Cheers. Could that be our runaway? I have like well, a ton of in any case, we baby. didn't see them here now. I still have nine packs of batteries left. Uh, okay, so how are, how are we going to do this? Well, that looks like access should be fine, so... Uh, stop bridge, close bridge. Access denied. Oh wait, there's buttons in here. Oh, we can set the lights. Okay, so maybe we need to put this into the correct state so that we can actually manipulate it. Let's try green, black, blue. That should be that should be clearance height is limited. Maybe we can do something with that. Like maybe we don't have to lower it all the way. Maybe we can lower it part of the way and that'll be enough for us. Uh, either way, that still doesn't help with the gate. Uh, oh, bridge gates. Yeah, also access denied. Maybe I just need to set it to no access? Like, that's unintuitive, but I've tried just about everything else, and it, it's not even that it doesn't work. It doesn't even seem to make a difference. But I guess we try it. I'm also surprised I haven't found anything under the bridge, aren't you? And you, that's red, red, black. I don't know if the, uh, I don't know if the white dot means anything. Well, we've turned it back into Mothman. Mouth agape in surprise. Uh, but nope, still, still problems. What about this button here? I've yet to figure out what this thing actually does. Oh, these will actually... Okay, I don't know what I did, but this is working at this point. I don't know if I had ever clicked these or what, but okay, so now... Now that's all there. Alright, we might have to try a few configurations, but... uh, Nope. 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 Nope, nope. So floodlights are on. Still eight packs of batteries left. 
You know, I am very much aware that we saw these signals change. Like, from across the way, we saw they were red the first time we saw them, and then later they were green. So does that mean that somebody messed with them, like, while we were over there? I mean, it clearly wasn't the crew, or they'd still be here. Up oh, there we go. I hope this actually works. I really hope it works, because Mark can see that steam leak over there, and he's probably salivating at the thought of reporting it. Or just fixing it himself. Alright. Did we do something wrong? I didn't get one of those oh-so-satisfying sounds. Uh, wait, can we- does that mean we can mess with this now? Floodlights are on, although I didn't actually see anything do. Uh, where was- that There we go. Yeah, and I figured that probably opens the door downstairs. There we are. Alright, well, that took forever, but uh, we figured it out in the end. I think what stopped me for the most part was, A, you have to push that button, and B, it's a little misleading. Like, why would we set it to no access? Hello? Good thing I lingered a bit, or I wouldn't have figured out what's wrong with you. Now, I think we are in a good position to get the best ending at this point, uh, because as long as we get even half of the documents in this chapter, and we have been finding a lot of them, we should be good. Ooh, there's a ladder here. Oh, you're the other signal. But you, we were able to control remotely. Hang on, we've still got a little bit more investigating to do, even mere yards away from the office. Man, everybody in the city, even the blue-collar workers, just want to get away from it all. Hello? A geocache. Neat. Uh, okay, yeah, that is damage. Is there any reason why we want to come out to the end of these catwalks? I'm still not quite sure why these things are here. Hello? There is a massive fire going on down that way. I, I just can't wait to get back there and, like, reveal what we've learned. Now, from what I remember, there is still more after we get back to the office. We are not approaching the end of the game just yet. But I feel like that's got to be some sort of turning point, right? Uh, come on, is there, is, an, is there an exact right angle that we need to get at? Oh no, this is going to block us from just crossing on our own. Let me guess, we're going to have to find a way to jump down onto here? Yep, the Osmo Loot Boat. Thing looks like it should be... Taking a bunch of rich plantation owners down the Mississippi. But it would seem we've got no choice. The further we go, the more prevalent all this Osmo loot imagery is getting. I mean, it seems like they may have even had a sponsorship in in the SNW program, given that whole like little restaurant that they had down there. And the closer we get to the center of the city, the more we see its stuff. Uh, it's not just the water treatment areas. It's the city's main waterways as well. Okay, it looks like we could just move on, but, like, <laughs> come on. There's no chance we're not going to trespass this. Hmm, this thing is falling apart. All rickety, moldy wood. They're using mushroom lanterns. But all these interiors do look quite three-dimensional, suggesting we can get inside. Are we really not going to get a picture of that? Lock 
locked, of course. Uh, but this whole thing is very vertical. There's upper levels. So there's got to be... Oh, I was going to say we might have to drop down, but instead what we have to do is climb up. Three levels, to be precise. And those are certainly documents in there. Oh. Oh, mister, you're actually breathing. I'll just save that for later. Put it in my special album. Locked also. What if we come around the other side? Actually, if there's documents in there, does that perhaps mean that we're staring down at the sleeping face of someone important? Maybe someone we might have heard of before? I mean, we found Robin. We sorta found Xander Berg. It's nine packs of flashlight batteries. Somebody spilled the paint. Oh, a private balcony. Uh, which means that that door is not super likely to be locked. Yaboo! Mark's ankles are the real hero in the story. So in rough shape, but still in use, not simply left abandoned. I imagine damage to this structure is not within our jurisdiction, but well, when has that ever stopped Mark before? And then again, it does appear to still have some fancy amenities on board. Ooh, a key? So glad we spotted that. Entry. Safe combination 23-18-4-17. Keep it a secret, W. Walter? Most likely not. Oh, uh, uh, a picture hanging askew, and it's not even obscuring something behind it. What a shame. This room looks even moldier than the others. Another key. That makes okay, that's two. We're going to have to scour light. this place. No. And there's those documents we were trying to get at. Uh, is there a light switch in here, or are we just going to have to deal with this? Eh, it's not that bad. Captain Hans Magnuson, January 23rd, 1987, to SNW leaders. I heard that you want to destroy my ship, but I'm not going to allow it. As captain, I will decide the fate of this ship. I'm a patriot, so don't get me wrong. I still support SNW, even if everything didn't go as it should have. I want to tell you a bit about this ship. Before you took it and started to hold those meetings here, the ship was used by the government. Of course, those meetings were secret, and no one ever gets to know what matters were discussed in them. I want to assure you that the same holds true for you. Everything you discussed here will remain a secret. The ship is very old and has some history, so I can't simply allow it to be destroyed. I hope you understand my point of view and allow me to keep my ship. I'm always ready to serve you when the need arises. Well, I guess your plea reached the right ears. But they held meetings aboard this ship. Mark, you just cannot stop stumbling onto different pieces of this conspiracy. All of this in the last little hop on the way back to the office. Oh, even more notes. Oh. I see. It's going to be a key hunt. Uh, we're doing this Silent Hill style. Notes. Ship and dock backup key in the safe. Remember to keep meeting rooms sealed or I will lose my ship. Well, given... <laughs> I, I really do feel for you. I really, really do. But uh, this might have to be done for the greater good. For the greater good. You can't say that phrase only once anymore. It's just like, not allowed. Okay, there's going to be something in here. Let's climb up, perhaps something. Ooh, we can. Ooh! This whole thing is just a joy to Easter egg hunt inside. Uh, a potentially smashable window. Oh, and there's the safe. 
Oh, look, this whole room has been sealed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have nine packs of batteries. Safe packs. operation manual. Uh, unlocking. To unlock the safe, rotate the dial. Okay, so that's going to tell us how to do it. I do not remember the combination, however, so I'm going to have to go get it. 23. 18. 4. 17. That should be right, should it not? It says we have to change direction again after we get it, which is really weird. Alright, so 23... 18 4 17 and then doing that okay so we had to change direction the last time as well that was unnecessarily annoying but there we go and we've got a gate key and another of these that regular keys but i think there must be there must be at least one more still hiding in here somewhere. Now, such as life in Stahlberg, isn't it? Where Mark can literally jump on a random rotting houseboat and discover nuclear secrets. All right, but let's uh, let's take inventory of what we've got going on down here so far. So let's, come on. Oh, we can't do them individually. Oh, we can. Uh, but each of these corresponds to a particular key. Yep, we've got one more to go. We just gotta tear this place apart to find it. I'm not quite sure if we've been back here already. Up oh, there we go! And with that, uh, with a key left on a bathroom sink, we, uh, we unlock the nuclear secrets of our country. There we go! Well, sorry for the future of this houseboat. I really am. But this one document makes it all worth it. SNW report. Unfortunately, we can't continue this project anymore after the events in the bunker. It was decided that everything left in the bunker will remain there because it would be too dangerous to go back there. Oh, that's great for me. It's safer to keep everything inside. NPP, presumably nuclear power plant personnel, will be moved to different tasks, and this place is going to be closed. We're going to keep contact with the manager of the power plant and make sure that no one's going to get inside. Sander Berg and a few other scientists are still missing. They're still a threat to us, and we're going to keep searching for them. We're going to have a briefing at HR base tomorrow where we're going to decide what tasks everyone is going to receive. We hope that everyone will be there. So that was the last of it. We're standing right where these discussions took place. And if we only knew what faces populated this room at one point in time. But I guess our suspicions from earlier were confirmed, but we didn't really learn anything new. I suppose the only thing we really learned is that the Metro accident and subsequent closure of the bunker probably took place in 1987. So... Whatever's going on now, it's been a long time coming. And we can open this now. I am just also just going to check if anything upstairs can be opened now. Okay, it's really just all the exterior doors. I imagine not the interior door that would enable me to interrupt your sleep. No such luck. So I guess the implication then is that this is that Captain Magnuson? Well, if that's the case, he's looking pretty good for his age. I guess we just move on then, since I can't really seem to find anything else. Although, it's probably worth taking a hop to as far the end here as we can. Because, yeah, we obviously need to report the disrepair of this dock and not the massive fire burning that way, thank you. But that seems like more of an emergency call than a, hey, maybe we should check this out later, in a document. And away we go. And we can walk down this way, which means we should. Why does it seem, maybe it's just the angle we're at, but why does it seem so much brighter out over here, now that it's a little bit later? Hmm. 
You let us scrounge here, there must be a reason. Then again, I suppose it wouldn't be much of a scrounging game if there was always a reason! Oh, come on, we gotta come all the way back here. Well, I just realized you fell as we came in, but... Oh, we gotta do... Oh, my God! We have to do... Uh, I, the, the auto saves in this game are inadequate. Oh, I think I see now. You are an overturned boat. Or maybe you're what we got the picture of and not the fire. I'm actually not sure which at this point. Well, something's going on here. And we... Well, it shouldn't be our problem anymore, because I'm sure Mark just wants to go home. Yeah, we're just reporting incidents all over the city, because I guess the police are on strike as well. And all emergency services. It's like the purge out here. Hang on. That sounded like an angry latch, like a you're-about-to-open kind of latch. Any damage to the bridge itself? The office isn't far away now. I still have nine packs of batteries left. Yeah, the office may not be far away, but maybe there's still more we can do from the sound of it. There is. Well, that's certainly not OSHA compliant. <laughs> Well, Mark, at least you have a sense of humor about it. Wow. And this is our building. We should know better. Now, here's a little fun fact. You remember a few parts ago when I said that on my first playthrough, I tried to take that mushroom bear from the tunnels and bring it as far as I could? This, I believe, was the hard limit. Yes, it survived level transitions, even act transitions. But for some reason, this little door right here is kind of the hard limit where it disappears. I guess we activated some kind of emergency something. Wow, we've got a real mold problem down here. It is weirdly silent in the guts of our building. This doesn't feel like the way I'm supposed to go. Oh, God. Must be careful not to go too deep. Yeah, when you're near water, that's like the only time your voice betrays any kind of concern. So even we're not safe. I mean, that tunnel must run directly under the river, right? And we don't have a key card. Oh, no, this isn't our building. I had always... Hmm, I thought that it was. All right, well, I guess we're still wandering the street a little more. I thought I had remembered, like, entering a door like that and being back in the office. Oh, look at all this. Uh, my flashlight's not doing much Still out here. This is going to show up so badly on recording. I might have to bump the brightness. But once again, we're in an overwhelming new level, although... Looks like things have gotten taller fuck while I was gone. <laughs> Mark, that is... so on point. Your commentary is containing the bare minimum of what's needed. Nothing more, nothing less. Alright, so what have we got going here? All the streets are sealed off, city in total chaos, and presumably everyone just inside trying to wait it out. Yeah, that's bad. That's really bad. Looks like a destroyed gas line, probably. Now, what is this weird thing just in the middle of the road? That reminds me of the bean in Chicago. Apparently the artist hates it when you call it that, but that's what it is. Yep. 
keep thinking there's got to be like a geocache in there, right? Is this where we came from? Parking violation. Wait. This vehicle illegally parked. Reason for violation. Eh. Maybe we can do something with that? There's got to be a reason why it's a physics object, right? Alright, you're coming with us. Okay, so apparently I'm not turning up the brightness because it causes like weird screen artifacts, but I have uh, gone ahead and turned my available memory back up to high and hopefully that doesn't cause additional crashing. I have read that there is one area later on that we might have to turn it back down. I'm assuming you're going to be useful for something. So I'm just going to leave you over here where somebody had their apocalypse barbecue. Which is actually the best thing ever. I mean, Can't I remember me uh, during Hurricane Sandy, we knew we were probably going to lose power. So we just made a whole bunch of food and left it out on the table. And uh, just kind of shared with the neighbors and chilled out while the storm was at its worst. You've got a parking violation. Oh, okay. We can come in here. Seven packs of batteries left. You know, it is honestly, as much as I kind of dislike this mechanic now, there's something really satisfying about just how bright a freshly changed battery is. Oh. I think I found where we're going. But there's potentially so much more. That makes eight packs of flashlight batteries. No. Oh. The whole street is covered in glow sticks. It's definitely a block party. Tell you what, buddy. I'm going to do you a huge solid because I'm too lazy to go back for the other one. Let's just drop you down there. And hope it doesn't get wedged in the geometry like it uh, almost just did. I'm just assuming it's going to be useful for something. Leave you where you'll be obvious. But how are we getting out of here? I don't think this is supposed to be uh, done this way. It's nine packs of flashlight batteries. Although it's refreshingly not dangerous. Well, unless you try to drive away like that. Uh, testing phase nine. Parking. We got a parking ticket when we tried parking at Westport. Testing phase ten. Car driving. We tried to test how the car drives during rush hour, but those angry protesters started harassing us. Luckily, nobody got hurt. Testing phase two, parking tickets. We built a system to automatically change parking spot if the car detects a ticket on the windshield. Those Green War guys have been causing problems lately. They moved that one apartment building nearby. I didn't know they had the code to the garage. I just hope they don't come here and do something to our car. I was going to vote for the Liberals, but I can't use my car now, and there's that metro strike going on. The elections are just a huge mess. Now that people want to hold elections, nobody can get to the polling stations. Amazing. The Militarist Party is surprisingly popular. I wonder what they had to bribe to manage that. And so it seems like uh, there are people who are sick of it, and then there's people who don't see the bigger picture and are only mad at the protesters. Okay. So this car was being tested. Uh, does that mean we have to move it so we can get it out of the way to that door? Can't interact with this thing. Can't get into the booth here. What about this door? Locked. Locked. Everything's, everything's locked in this city. Oh, wait, no, you know what they said? Ah, ha, ha. They said it automatically moves when it detects a parking ticket. So let's just be not on the windshield or in front of the car when we do this. Yep. This is going to be good. I get it. So it was a test of a self-driving car. And potentially actually doing really well. Huh, that's real cool. Okay, so away we go. 
into more darkness, but, you know, what else is new? Hello? Are there any violations here? Does that cracked pavement count as reportable? It's real inconsistent. Uh, can't use that panel. Power's probably out. Well, a lot of this block has power, it seems. Some lights are on. But otherwise, it just looks dead. Look at that. And another Osmo loot bar. Uh, electricity out. Buy beer while it's still cold. Only $4. Can't get inside, though. Sad. Some people left their beer on the counter, but it doesn't look like we can have a sip. Not that Mark seems like the type to drink on the job. Okay, well, we've gone from one overwhelming space straight into another. Ooh, can we climb up here? Uh, just not quite, but maybe we can find a box or something. Guaranteed there's a geocache in some place like this. But do I care to scrounge for them at this point? Ooh. Darn... Darn bird took my keys. We saw a model for a bird's nest in the castle, so maybe we've got to find that? I can't imagine it's expecting us to actually chase down a bird, right? Like, Mark is not super agile at the best of times, and I think that might be asking a bit too much. We're just wandering around in a cry of fear level. It is so huge. Almost makes me miss how self-contained the uh, underground water treatment plant was. By comparison, I mean. I mean, also, let's consider trees, because birds go to trees. We're, we're burning through our whole stock of flashlight batteries just walking around. Oh! Seven packs of batteries left. This is the Green War, I guess, headquarters. But have they maybe been broken into, or is the door just unlocked? Hang on. Sort out our battery situation. Packs of batteries left. That's surprisingly open. All you need to know about Stahlberg? And you again. Why do I keep checking? Entry. Boss is away, so water the plants, but don't touch anything. Key is at the usual place. Okay. So are you responsible for some of the graffiti we've been seeing? Uh... Another newspaper, which is... Newspapers NCG usually aren't reportable, especially batteries. the new ones. Uh, NCG, accidentally orders, ha, wrong building destroyed. This is the same paper that we read earlier, but they don't seem to... They don't seem to agree with the assessment that it was accidental. Which is something that I suspected even from part one. Maybe our boss is actually somehow involved with this. Although remember, this game does have some nuance to it, so partial involvement doesn't necessarily mean he's trying to he's trying to develop nuclear weapons for our country. Uh, garage code seven five three three. Oh, there's that uh, there's that access they weren't supposed to have. I didn't even notice that. Have they like tunneled into the next building? Uh, their place is starting to feel like a ready-or-not level. There's some mushrooms. I could see them maybe that trying to cultivate some, but... Batteries. I don't see them just letting it sprout up through the mattress. Has this place been neglected for longer than you'd think? Uh, I guess they are actually deliberately cultivating them, so that explains that. Come back with a warrant. Searchable. There's our key. That is so funny. 
Dude, I want that so badly. Uh, although it rings kind of empty coming from me. Like, what are they going to raid me for? For pirating Paul Blart and Mall Cop? Uh, all right. Uh, well, system is armed. 7533. That wouldn't be the garage code, right? Hang on, wait. Uh, will going upstairs set that off? I'm going to save just in case. 7533 is the garage code. There's no reason it would be the building code. Seven packs of batteries left. Yep, there we go. And there's the motion sensor. Yep. Beer in the shower. So weird how much nicer the upstairs is, isn't it? Uh, and there's money on the table. Yep. Let's try it. Let's try 7533. Nope. That makes eight packs of flashlight mm. batteries. We have our save. Maybe we just... Maybe we just deal with it and see what happens. Yep. And then we can get underneath you. Oh, there's a note right here. <laughs> Good thing Mark has the ability to astral project, or we'd never be able to read this without setting the alarm off. I Ooh, I heard the sabotage didn't go well, but here's the money I promised. Use it well and please hire someone else, then... Not even gonna try to pronounce that here next time. That transport workers union strike has worked in our favor. Not many are going to vote now, and that means we have a better chance to win. Get to the polling stations and vote for... Ethos and Patel, uh, presumably specific candidates, or possibly a party. So they were paid big bucks to conduct this sabotage. They may not have been the ones orchestrating the strikes, though. That might have just been a happy coincidence, but now we know. Some of this infrastructure sabotage, at least in part, has been done by Green War. Pretty misguided, if you ask me, by the way. Like, I get environmentalism. It is hugely important. And sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm not saying you always have to uh, solve things democratically. But this is harming people. Like, it, the whole point of environmentalism, in my eyes, is not out of some stupid belief that some people have that we should be, like, eradicating ourselves for the benefit of nature. To me, environmentalism is about... Well, it's about making things sustainable for ourselves. It's about not screwing ourselves over by living a lifestyle that's unsustainable. But I just noticed that banner up there. I guess their position has been made quite clear. For just a second, I thought I might have heard of, like, a payphone ring, but whatever. Uh, let's get down here. Presumably this is the other side of what we already reported, uh, but I still want to see if we can get a picture of it. Man, that is really, really bad. There's also the possibility that they're not solely responsible for all the sabotage. They definitely... Well, they definitely had a failed attempt and potentially carried out other attacks. Which is just terrorism at this point. Uh, but there's a lot of parties at play here who could potentially have an interest. That truck has seen better days. Wow, he's not just Austin Powers in there. It looks like he was trying to... Oh, I get it. There's a little cutout right there. Man, I'm going through so many flashlight batteries. It's unreal, though. And there's still a rogue bird with a key somewhere. Uh, maybe climbing up will enable us to better get at that. Yep. That is all flooded from that point forward. Still six packs I'm sorry it's so left. dark, I know. Uh, can't go this way. Thank you, helpful barriers, letting me know where the conspiracy begins and ends. Nothing up there. And this may be... Nope, it is not a dead end. Not at all. It's very hard to be thorough. There's our bird! Okay, I thought that was going to be much more difficult to spot. Seven Thank you for the batteries. batteries now. 
I talked before about how there's all kinds of different moods in this game that are present in whiplash fashion, changing from one to the next, and also simultaneously. But you know what? It's not actually a clash. What I'm realizing is that... Oh, you're still flying around. Will you maybe lead me to somewhere else? But when you show the quirkiness of how the people of the city live, what they're like, the passive-aggressive notes they exchange, the ways and the places they party, and the trouble they get into, I think it really helps humanize the city, and it gives greater purpose to your overall mission. We can unlock that, but I am going to keep looking around just a little bit more. I think there's probably more to see. There's a keypad over- oh, there's a keypad over here! Green War, alright. Alright, we can access that. Hang on, I gotta go back and get that code. I'd forgotten all about that. This is so funny. They- they light their space with candles and mushrooms, and yet laptops abound. I'm just having another look around and wait, but, but apparently... Apparently the shelf counts as a... Interesting. As a thing? Is there something there that I should be seeing? Well, there's more Osmo loot. Uh, Alan Bacon Cookbook. Oh, and a bunch of money, that's probably why. Still six packs of batteries left. Okay, first of all, we're scarily low, and your voice actually echoed off these buildings. Some more flooding down this way. Let's just see what is in here, because I'm not sure where we're going to end up going. Sir, that's a wet floor. That's a violation. There's actually, there's a whole lot. It feels like there's going to be a whole lot across the street. In fact, this place is in a perfect spot to surveil across the street, now that I think about it. Let's get you off. Okay, so something needs to be powered up. Uh, Pete, you better call up that exorcist. The transformer controls are going all bonkers again. Thing must be possessed. Oh, and four is still completely flooded. Might want to call someone about that. All right, so let's not power up four, I guess. And it's a real good time for a save, I think. Uh, so what do we do? Uh, yeah, so... Wait, no, 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 no. I pressed three. Oh, I get it. They're, they're both like that. Alright, so what about two? Only one is working right now. Are there any other controls? No. We're not quite there. If we start with two, three is fine. And then one, but we can only choose one. Turn you off. Start with three. You're zapped. I guess I did it! Oh, and now that light is on. Okay, so it was probably unpowered before, so we had to do this. Alright, well, 7533. That makes eight packs of flashlight batteries. Thank you very much. 7533. There we go. It has taken me the entire game to get used to not pressing the pound button. Uh, there's a button there. Alright, so we are, remember, in uh, the territory of terrorists right now. I have like and we should probably something. tread carefully. Well, we have not tread carefully, not carefully at all, because the door is closed behind us now. So, I guess we'll reap whatever consequences we've sown. What do you do? Oh, you open the garage door. Okay, so... Uh, consequences not yet fully right. I 
guess they're partying in the wake of their supposed success. Oh, is this the bouncer? Are these the bounced? How are you getting it to stay there? Also, you are absolutely using power right it now. Eight packs of flashlight batteries. Broken elevator. We cannot get in. Hmm. Or maybe that's a last name. Maybe Bassem's in there developing R in the empty universe. Well, that looks uh, bad. Mail all piled up. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. They did this on purpose. In order to read your mail, I'm going to have to move this homeless turd. You know what? There's a party going on. We can ruin someone's day. Now let's make sure we... Get this. I still have nine packs of batteries left. I just heard a really disturbing noise from in there. I see you made a huge mess, like you always do. Can't even get simple sabotage done without looking so obvious and directing all the suspicion towards us. This is our saboteur. Look, I'm not gonna bail you out anymore. See you in open sewer. Boss. We should probably get in there. All right, a tenement foundation eviction warning. This is a final notice. You have only one week to pay overdue rent among fees, overdue interest, and non-compliance fines from period of last 12 months. That's a lot of money due. Payment must be received before July 7th, 2016, or eviction will be carried out by any means necessary. And they responded, uh, colorfully. But there's got to be more we can do. This is definitely a fire violation. Like, it sounds like somebody's, like, tied up and screaming in there. Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying. There's got to be something. There's an exit at the back here, but, um... I'm really not going to feel good leaving until we resolve whatever's going on up there. We can come all the way down to the gate. But we can't open it. Man, this place is just fixing to be a ready or not level. Sandbox. We can drop down through there, but we won't be able to come back. Can we do something over here, perhaps? Oh, it looks like we can. Looks like there's some platforming afoot. Hang on, not load. Save. Come on, no. Wait, what is this? Ooh, wait. We can get down... Okay, I don't know if we're supposed to be able to get here. But we are here now. Can we climb up this? No. Nothing there either. But it looks like they've given us the out to come climb up and over, so I guess testers managed it. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's a way to get in there. And I guess we're done. Hmm. Well, normally here's where I would end it, but I have a feeling I spent so long looking around that that would leave this episode very, very short. That makes eight packs of flashlight batteries. Uh, so what have we got here? We've got more trains on the tracks. And a whole lot of blinking lights suggesting things are not functioning correctly. Why am I even commenting on that anymore? This area is sealed up. Uh, can we... Can we have a walk on the grass? No, it's actually not even letting us climb over the fence, suggesting we're probably not supposed to. We've really got to keep an eye out with the camera. No! My god. Uh, 
I think that might be like the first real like jump scare of the game. I mean, well, besides the one. But man, if you're not expecting, if you're not expecting that. Seven packs of batteries left. I thought we were far closer to home than we were. Wow, there is all kinds of things wrong with this place. All, all manner of things. Uh, Savy Davy. Yes, yeah, so we probably got to get back there somehow because there's a ladder. I don't like this intense music. It's making it's making me think that there's going to be something more to this. We can climb up here. We've got to stop that somehow, right? The steam. What about down this way? We can't get onto the train at all, so that's good. Nor can we climb off the platform. That door looks important, but uh, we ain't climbing over that rail. Probably what we've ultimately got to do is, yeah, got to go up and over it. Personally, I'd probably try climbing on top of the train itself before I do any of this. No, we're not getting there, but we found a valve wheel. So we can do something with that, maybe? Anything here? Well, the pipe starts here. Perhaps we've got to get to the other side somehow. Oh, there's a door here. Okay, okay. I didn't see it before. Uh, so somewhere along... No, we have no access from this side. This is broken. Interesting. And there's the drill and cash. So clearly sabotage. And we've got our culprit just across the way. Come on, you, uh, you're going to be really annoying to hold in my hands while I'm doing this, aren't you? You stay right there. We need just never-ending flashlight batteries now that night has fallen. That makes eight packs of flashlight batteries. Uh, we need to open this, but we can't. Is there maybe a, a set of keys somewhere? Oh, a lever. Maybe being on this thing isn't such a good idea. And now it opens. There we go. Uh, is this where we need to be? No, that did, hmm. But maybe that'll grant us some sort of access we didn't have before. Now that that's out of the way, there we go. Mark, if you can do this. There we go. Oh, Mark is a master civil engineer. Uh, it's just a shame we have to climb down and actually shut these things off now. There we are. That doesn't get everything. Just enough for us to climb all the way across. So that is something, though. Yep. What's stopping us from just crawling out onto this roof and going over? I feel like that's what we should be doing. Uh, we can probably get around to that opposite catwalk. Yeah, yeah, we're putting it together. Well, my question is what we're going to do once we actually get there. Ah, here's the other one. Valve conveniently attached. And we should be good. Let's climb up this instead of going all the way back around. Kind of interesting that Mark mentions how he usually comes home this way. Because I think a big part of this game is just looking at the things we use every day in a different... Well, in a different way. Oh, come on, this doesn't count as collapsed. Uh, I guess it's just rusted. Uh, anything here? Just some trash. And here we are. Still six packs of batteries left. I've been here before. This should get me closer to the office. Yeah, you would. Seven packs of you know, I just I just made that whole speech and then I realized, well, it is your job. You probably have seen it this way before. 
Uh, wow, there's a, uh, this is going to be another puzzle segment. A whole lot of things going on back here, and I'm sure none of it works, especially since Green War had direct access to it. Not all of their sabotage was unsuccessful, that's what we're seeing. Locked, of course. Flooding. Long, narrow hallways. Just what we need. That board looks fit for use as a bridge. Oh, we can use this to get out and around. Generators are off. You know, I have to say, I really do like the feel of these concrete tombs down here, you know? Like, just sitting here listening to the water drip, it's somewhat relaxing. I don't think I can fit these in my pockets. Kitty. I guess we're going to have no choice but to climb through here, but this is probably just going to take us back to where we saw the other entrance, right? Oh no, because I had forgotten we actually came quite a fair way to get here. Uh, there's a hatch. And we don't want to drop down there. No, sir. And what does that do for us? A, B. Can't turn you on without power. Can't turn you on without the generator, right? But I couldn't see anything to interact with on the generator. We can still go down this way. Nope, we've got to defloodify that. Oh, there's the button here. We get started. There we go. You know, those buttons were tiny and easy to miss. We cannot come back this way. If we had a key to this, then we could do something. So that's got to be around here somewhere, right? So I at first had the horrifying thought that I probably need to find, like, another one of these things and use them as, like, a bridge to walk all the way back, but I'm now thinking that the answer is probably much more mundane. I probably have to pick you up, come on, uh, and bring you down this tunnel where we will be able to place you over the gap and get across. Because I noticed that there was a box on the uh, on the back of the pipes, and that indicates we're supposed to climb over from this side. There we are, that's what I thought. And we cannot open this hatch. Uh, yep. Okay, that's good. Actually, I need to go back now and start the generator. And now we can open you up again. Again, I reloaded a save to get some of my flashlight batteries back, but I guess I guess it was before I did that. There we go. And that should, yep, that's doing away with you. Awesome. Should probably turn the power off when we leave too, right? Uh, but then again, this gate won't open then. So any day now, we'll be able to get down there. They should pay me. Yes, they should. Right, let's go. Of course, we are leaving the the tunnel in a pretty dire state. And speaking of tunnels, wow, this city really likes its mini trains. How do we? Oh, there we go. That's probably it. Wow. This connects onto caves. Wait, no, are we are we really not gonna have anything to say about this? That is so awesome looking. I guess we've got bigger problems, but dude, I understand fully why Mark loves his job. I mean, this is the stuff you get to see. Somebody's been rummaging through here as well. And now we will be the latest to do so. Yeah, it doesn't look like that's meant to be in there. NCG, that's one of our hard hats. Which makes sense, this was one of our sites. Uh, what about you, sir? No? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I, I should have had more faith in this game. Of course, of course we're going into those tunnels. 
yippee ki -yay. that's damage, get that. Yee-haw. There we go. Looks familiar. This tunnel leads to the office. Hold up, Mark. What do you mean, this tunnel leads to the office? You got something you want to tell me about this building? Nice to have mine back so No wonder the city's infrastructure is falling apart. The people who are in charge of maintaining it, their building is cursed. Maybe have to... Yeah, that tunnel's collapsed. We've got to switch this up. Pretty sure this is the wrong way. Uh, well, right way or wrong way has been decided for us, I think. Yeah, this place is full of those regular mushrooms. Okay, let's bring you back. We can photograph that steam on the way back. Nope. Yep. And yep. We were literally outside the door of someone's party, like, minutes ago. It's just so cool watching our light, like, pass over all this stuff. The dirt path is kind of strange, though. I mean, this must be, like, among some of the city's older infrastructure, right? I mean, if it's gotten to this state... Yeah, just let the wet moss just glide over my face. It's like grandma's fingers. There we go. You're really gonna tell me that this is the building, isn't it? So many miles of tunnels beneath this city, but... So gorgeous to look at. I didn't think it would take all episode to do it, but I guess we finally made it. It's very hard to be a good cameraman on a spiral staircase, I tell you what. Locked. Here. This really is our building, isn't it? You know, I'm actually glad. I had made some comment earlier in the video about flooding being in our building. And then it turned out it wasn't our building, but I guess the statement still holds true. Did I miss a memo? Or did they turn the parking garage into a swimming pool? That is so... Dude. What a way to bring this all around. This is where we left from at the very beginning of the game. When we went out there, we were just like looking at rotting old stuff from like 1850. And now when we return, th those same problems all in the course of a day have reached the very place we Still started. Six off batteries left. Okay, are we going to be able to explore up here? Nope, gate's closed. Hopefully we'll have a stock of batteries back at the office, but somehow I doubt it. We only left with, like, one or two pairs. And something tells me the elevators will not be in any better shape than when we left. I don't know why I'm looking for new stuff. I've literally already been here. Dude, I'm just thinking about how Mark's legs must be absolutely killing him. But like I said, this game's not over yet. And it seems like we're having problems as well. Howdy, co-workers! You would not believe the day I've had. Oh, good. Mark is here. I'm so glad you're okay, buddy. I knew that Mark was going to make it. Mark, you're alive. I thought that something had happened to you. I even sent a rescue team looking for you. Where have you been? Yeah, but I'm surprised that I'm still alive. It's a damn long story. You can tell me everything when we have time, but right now we have some big problems. I know that it's been a rough day, but we really need your help, Mark. What's going on? 
We just got word that the Two Gorges Dam has collapsed. They're evacuating the city as we speak. It gets worse. We worried about the Stalberg nuclear power plant. It was never built to handle a flood of this magnitude. We were waiting for a helicopter to take us there, but now that you're here, I think you should take the car. It's not a long drive, and you'll be there before us. Can't I just wait for the helicopter? We don't have the time. It's going to be a while until it gets here, and we need someone there as soon as possible. Fine. Yeah. And oh, I almost forgot. We had a bunch of new flashlights come in this morning, but I never got the chance to give one to you. Oh. There should be one on a table somewhere around here. Are we getting a new upgraded flashlight? Oh, I forgot about this. All right, well, I guess we can't. You guys have this like makeshift command center. It's so cool that they let us get familiar with this place in the beginning. And now we get to see how it's deteriorated. And it really brings home that it's really only been lip service up until this point, but we do have a whole dedicated team really carrying the city on its back right now. But I think this would be a good place to end it, and we'll have to pick this up next time. It's been a long day, but we've still got a city to save. Although I do love the fact that there's no time. We need to get out there as quickly as possible so we can't wait for the helicopter. And yet they waited for me to show up to send me to drive. I guess even here I'm unappreciated, but if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. For now, I'm just going to sit here in what could be the chillest land party of the decade, but hey, I guess we got work to do.